Barcodes allow for a quick and convenient way to encode and scan data. You can use barcodes to track or identify products, manage inventory, etc. In this demonstration, I'll show you quick and easy ways to make barcodes in Excel. Hi there, welcome to Excel Demi, where you can learn to use Excel and solve Excel VBA related problems. I am Ishrak Kader and in today's video, I'll be showing you three different ways to create barcodes in Excel. So, let's get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. To create barcodes in Excel, first we need to download and install the font. You can find the link to the website in the description box below, or you can search in Google. In Google, search for ID Automation HC39M. Press Enter. Here, I'll click on the link for the DaFont website. You will land on this page. Now, click on the Download button. This will download a zip file which contains our font. Now, I'll head back to my file explorer. In the Downloads directory, you will find the zip file. Right click on it and select Extract here. Four new files will appear. I'll double click on the file with the .ttf extension. This opens up a new window. Click on the install button. This will automatically install the font. Lastly, make sure to restart Microsoft Excel. After restarting Microsoft Excel, move to the ID Automation HC39M font worksheet. Here, select from B5 to B6 range. In the number section, click on the drop down and choose text. After that, go to the C5 cell, press equal, start double quotes, start parentheses, close the double quotes, insert ampersand operator, then select the B5 cell reference, insert another ampersand operator, start double quotes, close the parentheses, close the double quotes. Press Enter. Apply the Fill Handle tool to copy the formula into the cell below. While selecting the C5 and C6 cells, in the Font section, click on the Font drop-down. Let me resize the window so we can properly see it. Here I'll type ID Automation. We can see the IDA HC39M font. Click on it and we can see that our barcodes have appeared. Simple, isn't it? We can generate random barcode numbers with the help of the RAND BETWEEN function. In the B5 cell, press equal, type RAND BETWEEN. For the bottom argument, I'll enter 1000. Insert a comma. For the top argument, I'll enter 10,000. Close the parentheses. The RAND BETWEEN function returns a random number between the range of 1000 and 10,000. Now you can choose a different range according to your liking. Press Enter. Then apply the Fill Handle tool to copy the formula into the cells below. The RAND BETWEEN function generates a new number whenever the worksheet is updated. To avoid this, press Ctrl C to copy the numbers. Then click on Paste drop-down. Here you can choose Values. This will set the numbers permanently. Now press Escape. Go to the C5 cell. Press equal, start double quotes, insert parentheses, close the double quotes, insert an ampersand operator, select the B5 cell reference, insert another ampersand, start double quotes, close the parentheses, close the double quotes, press enter. Now apply the fill handle tool to copy the formula into the cell below. While selecting the C5 and C6 cells, in the font section, click on the font drop down. I'll resize the window. I'll type IDA, then I'll choose IDA HC39M font, and our barcode will be ready. Lastly, we can install an add in to create barcodes in Excel. For this, I'll go to Google. In the search bar, search for T barcode add in for Excel. Here, I'll click on the link for techit.com website. 
you will land on this page. If you scroll down, you can find the version for Windows. Click on Download. An exe file will be downloaded. Once the exe file has been downloaded, I'll head back to my downloads folder. In the downloads directory, we can see the t barcode office.exe file. Double click on it. This brings up the installation wizard. I'll check this option and click on install. The add in will be installed automatically on your computer. Now click on next. Then I'll uncheck these options and click on close. Lastly, I'll have to restart Microsoft Excel. After restarting Excel, we can see the Add-ins tab is now visible. Click on it. In the barcode section, click on T barcode panel. Now the T barcode office pane is visible on the right hand side. You can click on the drop down to choose barcode type. For now, I'll stick with code 128. In the data field, you will have to enter the barcode serial. I'll type 018A6125BN. You can also change the barcode size. By clicking on this arrow, you can choose any option. Lastly, I'll click on Insert Barcode. This inserts our barcode. I'll use the resizing arrows to expand the barcode. Then I'll drag the barcode in position. That's it. Our barcode is ready. In this demonstration, I have shown you three useful methods to create barcodes in Excel. You can apply any of these methods according to your requirement and convenience. Don't forget to download the practice workbook from the video description. Try it out for yourself. It's a great way to improve your Excel skills. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. If you have any queries, suggestions or feedback, leave a comment down below. For more information, you can also visit exceldemy.com. Also, to see more helpful content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. Hope to see you next time. Bye!